Hey guys, welcome back to this another Autodesk tutorial. I'm going to show you how to create the school dynamic sliders in Autodesk XD. I'll be linking the XD file down in the description so you can download and use it. Let's get started. Create a new artboard of any size of your choice. Give it a fill. Select the rectangle tool and draw a rectangle. Change its border radius to 14 and remove the border. Now add a shadow to the rectangle. and select the rectangle and duplicate it. Change the color of the second rectangle and reduce its width. Now select the ellipse tool and draw a circle. Change the border width to 4 and color to white. Change its fill to blue and add a shadow. Select the ellipse tool and draw another circle and remove the border. Select the polygon tool and draw a triangle and rotate it, place it over the circle like this and remove the border. Now select both circle and triangle and click add to merge them. Change the triangle's borders radius. Group all to place in center of the artboard and then ungroup them. Select the text tool and write numbers one below one. Like this. Now duplicate the text and add more numbers here. Place both over the circle and select the rectangle tool and draw a rectangle over the text. Like this. Now select the numbers and the rectangle and click Ctrl plus Shift plus M to mask them with shape. Select the text and move them inside the mask to change its display value. I have set the initial value to 20, now select the shape and add a shadow. Now select the artboard and click Ctrl plus T to duplicate it. Go to the second artboard and move the slider to the other end. Like this. 
and move the numbers inside the mask layer to change the display value. Now go to the prototype mode. Create a drag trigger, change the type to audio animate. Keep the easing as none. Do the same from the second artboard. Now click the preview to see the outcome. Here we go. For the second animation, duplicate the artboard again. Here, remove the colored rectangle and move the slide pointer to the beginning. And also the indicator. Remove the number group and select the ellipse tool and draw a circle. And remove the border. Now select the rectangle and change its color type to linear gradient. Make the gradient vertical like this. Now add some gradient colors like this. And you can use your favorite colors if you want. Change the color of the slide pointer. and select the rectangle and duplicate it. Now move this rectangle and place it below the circle we have created. Change the color of that circle so that it will be visible. Now increase the height of the rectangle to cover the circle size and increase its width a little bit. Now select both and click Ctrl plus Shift plus M. Select the artboard and duplicate again. Here move the slider pointer to the other end. And also the indicator. Now double click the mask layer then select the circle and move it. Keep the rectangle where it is. Make some adjustments. Now go to the prototype mode. Create a drag trigger and keep the same settings as before. Click the preview to set the outcome. Here we go. That's all for today's video guys. Thanks for watching this tutorial. Drop a like and share it with your designer friends. Make sure you have subscribed to my channel and click the bell icon so that you will be notified when I post a new video. Feel free to share your thoughts in the comments. You can also ask me any doubts on Instagram related to UI and UX design. I will respond to you and links to my social accounts are in the description. See you next time. Until then bye. Stay home, stay safe and keep learning.